What's up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John 74 and today I'm here to bring you guys more Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it because um, I'm pretty sure some of you guys did not play the multiplayer beta. Now for those of you guys who did not play the beta, I'm here to help you guys out. So on the first day of Black Ops 3 when it releases on the multiplayer, I want you guys to use assault rifles. Because one of the main things you will notice stepping into Black Ops 3 for the first time ever has to be the pacing. It is a slow paced game. You will not get everywhere super quick you're actually gonna take your time it takes more than 30 seconds to get from one side to the other compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where you had all these perks all these exosuits you know jumping super quick slamming down and everything well in this game in Black Ops 3 you don't have none of that you don't even have the lightweight perk so most of the time you'll find yourself gliding across the sky and in a slow pace so um, you're gonna have to take yourself pretty much slow to begin with because you try to go fast in the beginning You're not gonna get everywhere at once and you're gonna pretty much end up with a negative KD Because you're trying to go fast out there So in order for you to take your time pick up an assault rifle in the beginning on day one the man of war That's the first assault rifle that you will have probably um, This weapon it is pretty much of an incredible uh, weapon because it does have high damage and high control so that's pretty much of a great beginning weapon since it does have high accuracy so um, and another thing since people are slow paced you will have a lot of chances to actually shoot at someone compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where everybody's moving super quick and slaggy and everything well that's not gonna happen here in Black Ops 3 because everybody's slow paced and remember I keep repeating the word slow paced because that's how it is most of the time because I get I got to play the beta so I know what I'm talking talking about here so um so yeah use the assault rifle take your time and you will learn the mechanics along the way do not hurry yourself up take it easy and try to learn the ways of the game because if you don't you're just gonna be playing like a ridiculous person out there with no sense of uh you know winning or anything you're just gonna be like a maniac running around getting yourself killed most of the time so just Prepare yourself with an assault rifle. I know what I'm talking about here. So um, the the time that you get to jump into an SMG is the time where you start getting like over 20 kills or 50 kills per gameplay, and you're starting to get the hang of it. That's when you start increasing your speed and also your sensitivity speed. This is one of the things that I do usually every time a Call of Duty game comes around, and it works for me. Like I start off with slow weapons, and then all of a sudden I go into quick weapons, short range weapons, close quarter weapons. Like that's how I change along the way. It takes me like maybe like around half a day to actually get. Used to the game and finally go into my quick weapons the same goes to any other fps ga game out there so for you guys uh since you know you might want to take you know some of you guys do take a while to learn so um you know just stick around with an assault rifle try to get learned all the assault rifles first and once you got you get tired of the assault rifles switch over to the smgs so remember slow pace first and then fast pace later even though it's not going to be fast enough, I'm telling you. Even with the SMG, you're not going to be running fast out there. So um, another thing is the kill streaks. I want you guys to start out with the care package since it does give you a lot of things. Um, unless, unless they only did it for the beta, because in the care package, they gave me a lot of badass kill streaks. The stealth bomber, uh, high kill streaks, which was the uh, I forgot one of those rolling things called. I think it's called the RDS. I'm not sure what it's called, but they gave you a lot of high kill streaks on the beta. So I'm not sure they're going to actually do it for the full multiplayer game. If they do, then start off with the carrot package because that's how you're going to get a lot of kills and that's how you're going to be able to level up quickly. So use the spy plane, use the counter spy plane, and use the carrot package because they are giving you free kill streaks right there and then. So um, those were my tips, guys. Hopefully, you guys do um, you know understand that you got to start off slow and then along the way get faster along the way with faster weapons like SMGs and higher rapid fire assault rifles um, and also the kill streaks you know I do what I told you right now use the counter UAV the UAV and the care package and you're gonna level up ASAP that's how I pretty much did it with the uh, beta so um, what's another thing you gotta know I think that's about it that's all I, I, that's all you need to do in the beginning and um, hopefully you guys do pretty good in the first day so that is it subscribe for more you guys want to see more Call of Duty beta of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Black Ops, mark up another win. Objectives complete. 